My next guest is uh, someone who really irked a lot of people, especially in the United States, with his, uh, his forays into foreign policy with uh, Mahmoud Ahmadinejad, uh, Hugo Chavez, uh, and of course with Saddam Hussein. But uh, the actor Sean Penn, the Academy Award winner, came down here and told me he has a newfound respect for the United States military and what the United States is doing to hate, uh, to help the Haitian people. Here is my interview with Sean Penn. What are your reactions seeing this? That's horror. Do you think people understand the extent of the catastrophe here? Well, I think on one level they do. I think what happens in a lot of these situations is that you have a kind of uh, phase one in the center of the of the city, the most recognizable city, and and um, and it is it has to be said the the military is doing the most extraordinary job, and it, but but the mission has been so centered on Port-au-Prince that uh, you know some of the other areas, the epicenter areas and so on, are still being under surface. It's just a complicated situation, but. Um, it, it has. It has to. I think it has to be continually reported that you know that Port-au-Prince is not all of the issue, and Port-au-Prince, of course, still has major emergencies and infections, communicable disease concerns, and all of that. But in terms of the story in the press, I think it's really important that it's followed up in in, in the circles that surround uh, Port-au-Prince because there's still phase one injuries and, and traumas, and and uh, you know where broken legs are suddenly becoming. Uh, uh, compound where uh, bones are breaking out of the skin and infections are coming and this is happening on a daily basis people are dying by the thousands and it so I think I think yes right now they probably have a pretty uh, good idea of where, what's being reported on the center and I think that the uh, positive reporting the reporting of positive actions by the United States since you and I are two Americans talking um, I can say has been unbelievable unbelievable and 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 meant and felt the military that I've been dealing with the 82nd Airport uh, are people that they got me aspiring to a new level however their the mission still is is contained in this in in the focused uh, public epicenter and yet there's a there, there's masses of people um, you know in uh, Leo Gan and some of the other outlying areas that uh, are still a phase one do you worry given the you know the uh, I don't want to be uh, harsh about it, but the fickle nature of public attention, that the spotlight will shift off Haiti already. Uh, the lead story on the news the other day was the floods in Los Angeles. Haiti is kind of ticking down on the list of, uh, of priorities. Do you worry that the attention and the compassion and the concern will fade far before the need is taken care of? Well, it's it's almost certain that that's going to happen. I mean, you know, many of us will try very hard uh, not to have that happen. And of course, you know, there's going to be issues of rebuilding and all of that. But it, yeah, it's also can be said that Haiti's quite used to having the spotlight come off of it. It's had needs for a great long time. But I hope that this will refocus. That this is one of our neighbors. All right. Thanks, man. Thanks, Ray. Good luck.